what sense is in the sense private providers most knowledge it is very easy question actually very easy question you all you need to ask is do census providers knowledge or do the providers ignorance what any answers do census provide any knowledge at all no yes sweeties again right with this thing census provide direct experience which is responsible for knowledge well we have opinions now you see the direct experience is experience of the false the knowledge that is derived out of it will be negative it is not this senses are saying it is this sweet this thing is bitter this thing is sweet what is the knowledge not this sushant is saying information yes the senses provide only information and they don't don't inform us anything about the existence actually it is something which is created the information is also generated although it is useful for the survival so we say it is information but it's absolutely random thing anything can appear via senses anything at all you need to negate it shreyasi shri is saying information but ignorance mary is saying information of false yes they inform us what is not there how do we know what is that they are informing us something which is not there that is the job of the intellect remember riddhi also that not only the direct experience the logic is also responsible for knowledge the direct experience will give you probably nothing for example you go to the you are traveling in the desert and you see water now what happens you know already you are, everybody knows this story you run to the water there is no water now it is the job of your intellect to say that it was false experience actually the experience was not false it is the conclusion was false that it is water the intellect was not experienced enough not mature enough it it saw it for the first time and so you know assumption assumption arise arose in this mind it is water because it has seen water before so the connection is made to the water not to the mirage once it is seen yes it is always mirage now now you will be always careful in the desert even if you see water you will check it twice <laughs> that is water or not so controversial question isn't it controversial how will you get any knowledge at all if there is no sense no senses no sensory apparatus riddhi saying intellect is also experienced very good very good uh, argument by riddhi but remember the knowledge is negative we experience only negative we experience a refutation of what the senses are telling and what the intellect had, had assumed beforehand so in the end no knowledge is gained that previous assumption which was done by none other than the intellect only was removed by nobody else but the inter- intellect and it came back in its original state of not knowing not this not that and in the ordinary language we call it knowledge now you're free of ignorance we say what is there zero big zero <laughs> we say look you have the knowledge now that this is not water achievement it is not an achievement really isn't it so in spite of the fact that the intellect is also an experience and falls the clearing of it undoes what it has unknowingly has done this must be recognized you cannot say that the intellect does nothing it does something which produces ignorance then there is undoing of it by the same intellect produces knowledge the knowledge is of nothing really nothing is known in the end so i always give this metaphor why it is important then intellect why it is important because of suffering you see when you hold the knife backwards your hand will get cut and you will bleed and you will be in pain isn't it waste of a good body if you hold the knife correctly in the right direction you see hold the handle you can cut your vegetables very useful for survival and tasty also same is the intellect it can produce suffering when it is doing something wrong you know is when it is held upside down the guru comes and turns it right side up now it produces something useful which is removal of suffering it does not produce anything better than that actually absence of suffering is happiness nothing more nothing more is needed bliss is absence bliss is also negative Parthi is saying senses simply limit income information to generate experience. Remember that even if they don't limit, they will generate 
ignorance only like you cannot smell like a dog so you say oh i am so ignorant i cannot smell anything but whatever the dog is smelling is also ignorance there is no smell in the world there is no world so riddhi is saying i still have some doubt let me know your doubt what is your doubt um so i'm saying that you are saying that refutations happen in the intellect and we in the end we get negative knowledge but knowledge is structure and memory and everything is experienced the knowledge is experienced and there is no way to gather knowledge except for the senses so for the layer of intellect also there are some senses so senses are the only way to get even the negative knowledge yes you are correct the negative knowledge erases that which was previously told by the same senses like you said senses there are in, uh, mental senses you can say non physical senses that tell us about the arrangement made in the memory isn't it that is the experience now what is known here is that whatever the arrangements that were made in the memory and the senses tell told me about them they are not correct they cannot be relied upon for knowing the truth and this one more relation is formed in the memory that look this x y z not true the relation is formed with false the concept of false and the senses tell us this so ultimately ultimately is meaningless isn't it totally meaningless whatever has happened here the whole drama of gathering the um, ignorance and the whole effort to clean it is ultimately meaningless and you can guess why it is because none of the events in the existence are meaningful totally meaningless it has no purpose at all why why is this important it is important for the creature you see you could have died in the desert <laughs> now the knowledge tells you this water that looks like water in the desert is false your mental senses are telling look it is like this it saves your life so that by clearing this uh, wrong connections in the memory which means clearing the ignorance we get rid of the suffering that this wrong relations could have caused for the creature in the end there is no suffering i am that that which never suffers i am the blissful one and in the end there is no happiness in the end there is no ignorance no knowledge so let us not confuse the two levels of non duality and duality in the duality you will find ignorance and knowledge as defined and uh, in the non duality everything is meaningless so you will say what is the use you know everything is intellect is also illusion whatever it does is also illusion yes perfectly right but it has its uses you should not forget this because the play is now happening like this if you want to play this play you should fix some things here and the ignorance is the first thing you should fix otherwise don't play that's what i say and that is also not an option the creature cannot opt for that <laughs> there is no opt out like vaccination you know cannot opt out now so you need to play this and for to play it conveniently without much suffering clean the wrong connections which is the ignorance what is the path of knowledge doing it is cleaning it for once and for all that's all you see that is the achievement here because we have declared that everything that changes is false nothing false will touch you ever again this is why it is called higher wisdom is in it not only in the desert you will say that look this mirage is not water you will also say there is no desert also and then you will also say that there is nobody who is looking at the desert also no creature and whatever it saw as mirage or water or it's all false because it was told by my intellect only by senses only of some kind this you see you can go on receding like this in the end you reach your true nature nothing else will be there and that is why we have called the true nature as the only truth because there the denial does not work you cannot say i am not that is not possible it is self evident that is why that is the only truth it is unchanging so you cannot say that look it was something else before now it is something else now so false no it never it will never happen so this game of ignorance and knowledge and one of the view point is that it is there simply to take you to your true nature without ignorance you will never make any effort to know what is true what is false you simply understand this all this effort and all these things are also meaningless but human beings and they are not bothered by these things 
for them it is important hopefully doubt is clear